Okay guys, so first, let's address what a content approval workflow is. So basically, it's a process that ensures that all the content published on your website meets your standards. So it typically involves multiple people and each person has a specific role in the workflow and the content must be approved by each person before it can be published. So what should you do then and how can you implement a content approval workflow in WordPress? Well, it's very simple actually. You only have to do is to install one single plugin which is called Multicollab. Okay. Okay, so let me show you why this solution is the best suited solution for content approval workflows. So let's say you're working on this blog post here and you have saved it as a draft. Obviously, before publishing, you would like the help of your coworkers and teammates. So how can you do so? It's very simple. As you can see, I have an icon here. Click on this and I can share this with anyone you want. So all you have to do is click on this and now you can invite all your coworkers, as many as you want, simply by using their email address. So let's say for this example, we're going to invite David here okay so we click on his name and then you can decide whether David's going to join you as a viewer or a commenter okay so let's go with commenter and you can also send David a personalized message so perhaps something like this hi Dave might helping me out with this blog post need help with the formatting and then send the message and as you can see I have a confirmation that the invitation was sent to David and this is the type of email that David will receive as you can see you're invited to collaborate on this blog post and all he has to do basically is to click on this button and he will have complete access without needing any credentials and now you're ready to collaborate so let's say you're having a bit of a struggle maybe with this paragraph here and you want david's help all you have to do is to highlight this and as you can see right there with plus sign with the speech bubble and the same here this is to add an inline comment so let's click on this together and as you can see you are john doe and now you can send a message to david for this all you have to do is to tag the add sign and you can tag him directly so for instance you'd like to ask david if this is grammatically correct so you can also assign this to David immediately, which means that he will be responsible for marking it as done. And if you keep this unticked, either of you can mark it as done in the end. So let's post our comment. And from David's screen, he will see your message and all he has to do is click on it and it will bring him directly to the section he needs to have a look at. And now David can review this. And if he deems this as correct, he can mark it as done and leave your comment as well. So for instance, yes, that's perfectly fine. He can post his reply and I can mark it as done as well. So mark as resolved, yes, and now the message is gone. And now as part of your content approval system, if you go back to Multicollab here, as you can see, all the activities are recorded so you can keep track of everything that's happening on your blog post, but not just from your blog post itself. You can also go to your WordPress dashboard under the Multicollab tab, as you can see, you have all your latest activities recorded here chronologically, one after the other, okay, by date and time. And you also have the report section here. So from here, you will see all the blog posts that are created and also who's working on them and how many comments are open or resolved, along with all the activities here by the side. Another feature that will help you greatly with your content approval workflow is the suggest edit. But first, we need to enable it. So go to Multicollab. Go to the settings tab and right here as you can see suggest edit use the toggle switch and enable it so you get a confirmation that this is enabled now and now we can suggest edits and there are two types of edits that you can suggest so the first one is a formatting edit so let's say if i wanted to emphasize the word multi-collab here put it in bold and italic as you can see my suggestion is being recorded here by the side and now anyone coming along can either approve it or reject it. So let's say I'm going to approve it. Now as you can see, the changes have taken place. Now let me show you the second type of edit, which is a word suggestion edit. So here, instead of word explore, I would like to change this for the word discover. All I have to do is hit the delete key. As you can see, this is marked off. And now I can type the word that I want to suggest next to it. So discover just like this okay and again if someone comes along they can either accept or reject it so let's accept it and there you go as you can see the world has been replaced and another very handy feature is that you can attach documents to your inline comments so let's tag david again and add our comment so for instance can you recreate this table in between those two paragraphs and right here we can attach a file so let's select our table here as an example 
select. So it's a PDF file here, but you can also attach any types of pictures if you wanted to. So let's post our comment. And now from David's screen, he can read your message and he can easily open this document by clicking on it. It will open up in a new tab. And now David can work on this and insert the table in between those two paragraphs. And then we have the manage permissions feature as well. So as you can see, you have all the roles here. So admin, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, and guest. And then you can define if any of those are allowed to add a comment or resolve comments, add suggestions or accept or reject suggestions, or you can disable them all together. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Now, if you are interested and would like to try this out for yourself, we offer a 30 day free trial of our pro plan where you can test all the multi collab features. So for this, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below, and this will bring you to this page. And under the pro heading, simply click on this button here. Now simply enter a few details and that's it. You're ready to enjoy the pro version of multi collab for free for 30 days. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.